Peggy 18. Mastrashtar. Winja. Peggy 18. The interesting thing about Far Cry is that it's flexible. I mean, maybe there's an idea that we have all these different Far Cries planned, but the reality is at the end of each Far Cry, we sort of think to ourselves, where do we want to go next? And so a team came to us and basically said, we've got an idea for Far Cry. So they sat us down and they started to talk about the idea of a Far Cry that was primordial, but took place at the beginning of time, the beginning of mankind. And now we have a chance to finally reveal Far Cry Primal. We are super fucking excited about this game. I think at the heart why it clicked is because it's a very uh, powerful idea, very simple, uh, especially for a Far Cry game because it's always been this, uh, this kind of dual or pitting nature and, uh, and man together. We decided to uh, settle on the uh, Mesolithic time period, which is a very interesting moment in humanity because it's, this is the, the first frontier. It's the first time a man put a stick in the ground and said, this is mine. I think all Far Cry games are about survival and they are always about survival at first. And then it's about going from being the hunted to the hunter. When Taka arrives to uh, Oros, he's exhausted, he lost uh, everyone, he's uh, alone, he has no weapons, and uh, he finds himself in a place where uh, actually you don't know if beasts or men are the most dangerous. Alors, Oros, c'est un monde sauvage et primitif. C'est une, une corne d'abondance. C'était un ancien glacier qui s'est retiré à la fin de l'ère glaciaire et qui est devenu une vallée très très fertile avec des écosystèmes très différents où énormément d'animaux se retrouvés, notamment des, des grands prédateurs et des grands herbivores. For us, it's always been important to have uh, nature be bigger than man. It was the time of the megafauna. Everyone was competing for food and man was definitely not at the top of the food chain. Le principe, c'est qu'on n'achète pas ces armes, on les fabrique. Au début, il va devoir vraiment ramasser du bois, des pierres, commencer à fabriquer ses premières armes, etc. Petit à petit, obtenir plus de ressources pour fabriquer des armes de plus en plus fortes. It's all about hunting. It's all about fighting another tribe that that is trying to take your stuff. It's all about gathering food and materials to uh, to survive. À cette époque, l'homme était déjà euh, extrêmement avancé, savait euh, déjà utiliser la taille de la pierre de 150 façons différentes. Donc on a énormément de variations de type de lance, on a énormément de variations de, de type d'arc faites avec, euh, comme à l'époque, des pierres, des euh, ligaments, des bouts d'os. Donc ça, ça a nourri encore plus le, le, notre envie de, de le faire rentrer dans la marque Far Cry. Comme on l'a dit, le monde est vraiment grand. Euh, mais le monde est euh, vraiment dense. Il y a énormément d'activités, de, de systèmes d'animaux, euh, des humains en train de chasser. Euh, le cycle jour-nuit va changer ce qui se passe. Donc euh, de nuit, les prédateurs vont sortir, euh, les proies vont aller dormir. Le joueur va se retrouver pris là-dedans. Et à chaque fois, on a des surprises. Et c'est ça qu'on aime, en fait. 
When you make a game that's set 12,000 years ago, it's really hard and there's not a lot of documentation on it. You know, there's the environment, that's one thing, but what about the culture, the people, the way they talk, the way they move, all these things. What's primal? How do we get back to our roots? All the organic remains have disappeared. Did they use leather? We don't know. Were they using wood? We don't know. What remains are uh, rocks and bones. So for me, it was very interesting because we actually had great gray areas in which we could dive into. Se plonger là-dedans, c'est comme cette possibilité de changer des règles. Euh, on n'a pas d'armes à feu, on n'a pas de véhicules, on doit inventer de nouvelles manières de, de se déplacer, de se battre, euh, qu'on n'avait pas l'habitude de mettre en avant autant dans les autres Far Cry. I think it's going to be a very exotic journey, but it's still a Far Cry at, at core. So uh, I don't know. I think they're going to be excited uh, to have a new playground that feels so fresh and new and where every step could lead you to a, a new discovery that you were not expecting. Oh.